Hello. I'm not sure what's happening. It just says I'm not streaming on certain things. So, tough banana. I don't know what I'm doing. Tough bananas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. I'm going to do something today that I really do love doing. Um, we're going to do jellyfish, but we're going to do it a simple, easy way. Um, we're going to do some neuro art with it. And then over the next few weeks till the end of the month for my Patreons, we'll have a whole project on it. But this is just going to build up some layers upon layers. So as we go through the month, the, the lives will link up with this, but you'll be getting different layering techniques and stuff until we do a full mixed media one. So just to explain what we've got, I've got some watercolour paper. This is rough. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Bev. Um, hi, Karen. Hi, Sue. Yeah, hi, Linda. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Jenny. Uh, hi caroline yeah so <clears throat> all i've got today which is a little bit different is i've got a heat gun i've got my watercolors you can use anything you want it is a little bit easier watercolors i've got some um fabriano uh, drawing watercolor paper it's not not and it's not rough it's sort of bared in the middle you just need some clean water and a water spray you just need your favorite colors and just go for it so i'm going to use some fine brushes today i've got some riggers which a rigger is i'll show you and a rigger is a very long fine brush just let it be it um that i can use to paint with which is such a good one now i've got these from the saa if anybody wants to know where to get their stuff um just let me know i've got an art two knot riggers and i've got some more um, very fine ones and i do love them because they are easy to work with but anyway you don't really need them you can use an old paintbrush um i also have a, a fat rigger but um i've also been using nail brushes as well so let's just talk about a jellyfish i'm going to draw on the back okay so a jellyfish basically is made up of a circle right oh i'll use a thicker pencil and then every, well i'm not going to use me um <laughs> i've got my blooming thingy there that won't work will it i've got a blooming um what do you call it where's that pencil card oh look at it i've got hundreds of the things yeah I'll use um, the sanguine ones that I've got. I'm not going to use a charcoal one because it'll go all over. I'll use an oil one as well. So basically, um, a simple jellyfish, very easy. Hi, Emma. Is I'm using an oil, Fabria, uh, Fabio Castell. So basically, if you think of a jellyfish, it's so easy to use. And basically, it's just... built within this shape now that looks absolutely pathetic i know um but it basically is because everything then comes from this and all my drawings whatever i do it is always breaking down into shapes so let's look at it so if i just put that on there i've got a very simple one okay and then if i allow these to come out like that I could also make that a dream catcher, but this is a very simple one. But just to ensure that you, you sort of then can develop it, these actually, it, it, these tendrils seem to come more like that, if that makes sense. So very easy one, which is the black where you are. Basically, you've got a circle and then don't draw that shape in but that's the, the shape that we're looking at um it's sort of cut off there and then your tendrils whereas if you start developing it you'll see that some have got frills here and then the tendrils so have a look at what you want 
but we're not going to have much control over what we're doing today we're just going to let it go because we're going to let the paint decide what shape it is okay so i've got my white paper you can use any color paper you want and i'm just gonna wet my paint so i'm really um thinking about light really in the background so i'm using my windsor and newton daniel smith talon whatever i've got here i'm just using so you could use any colors you want move my mouse over um the ones that i've used and i've promoted on telly i really do believe in them so you know if you've got your sets of pinks you want to use them or your what color talons or these are the ones that might make myself uh, no I, I put the range together myself so just, i've had one person say that i am doing this all wrong and i might be i might be and this person says i should never wet my brush paint because i uh, reckon uh, wreck the gum arabic now it's the first time i've ever heard that so that's very new to me however it may well be true but i haven't actually found it yet um so the layers on layers well layers upon layers will create new colors layers into layers mixing you can get a lot of mud so layers on layers so this one is watercolor then we're going to use pencil and then i'm going to use collage and then i'm going to make one and stitch it and everything from a patreon so they will all have the pattern for this um i managed to find the other pattern guys my patreons i found the red one yeah it was where i thought it was so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get a little bit color so i'm going to start with a light blue which is a scion or um, cerulean blue, which is a, a really nice blue. And I'm just going to spray a little bit. Now, this is a fine spray. There is a big difference. And I'm just going to drop it very lightly. I don't want a lot in the background. Right, I'm really thinking about it, right, as you can see. I've got a little bit of cobalt violet, but this is a quite an opaque one. So I don't want too much of that. Right, I'm quite happy with that. But I'm leaving areas around it because I don't want them to mix. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the purple. It's quite strong, this, in between. And there we go. I might put a little bit more of that cobalt up here. So I'm going to leave it like that because watercolour is dry a mile, a mile, a lot lighter. So I'm just going to dry this up. It's important that you dry it. Really important. So watercolour is very liftable. Acrylics you can use in a watercolour manner, but they're not liftable because they're a permanent. They have a different binder in, a different glue. A polymer, which is in an acrylic, is a man name so it's like a plastic a gum arabic was not normally which is the binder in watercolor uh is natural so you can relist it and reactivate it oxgal which is a linseed which can be used for other paints they tend to be slightly different so it, it's important that you get fit for means right so i've got a lighter color there it's still a little bit wet now if i wanted to and i just wanted to give it a bit of a change it up a bit not a lot just get a damp cloth now i use a sponge as well and i'm going to just take some off but i'm not rubbing it i'm not rubbing it because i don't want it pilling so all you do just spray this is a very fine spray it, it's not directional if you want directional um, I think Tim Holtz does one that does it all. So I've got that on there. Now I'm going to drop on some more colour. But these colours are going to be what normally would like to just. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Oh, for crying out loud. Crying out loud. Right. I'll use this one. Oh, it is right underneath it. So, right, I'm going to get some more and I'm going to go in with teals. Teal's one of my favourites. It really is beautiful. So, I use this a lot. Um, 
it's it's just a nice colour. Um, it is a man man-made colour. Until a few years ago, we wouldn't have seen teal. You'd have seen um, so the 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 only teal like colour would be one that has been mixed. So I'm just putting a light coat on like that, and then dry it. Now, because I'm not using too much water with this, it's hopefully not going to sink all the way through. Okay, so I started to use um, a sponge to dry, but, and it's just helped me a lot because I, I tend to flick it all over the place, and that's not a good idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the colours, and I'm liking it, but I want a little bit more sort of blue in it. And, and I'm going to go with a Prussian blue. Now, the Prussian blue is like a blue and a green together. Um, I've just been finished my book again, which I've read for the second time or third time. And I love it. Traces the colours back to the original um, minerals and chemicals, reactions and... It's just stunning to think that, you know, um, these colours were made using this, this and this, and, and you have to burn this acid to get this. And, you know, a lot of them you're, you're drawing to make them permit. Oh, I love it. I love it. So here I'm just tapping it off. And I'm using, each time I'm doing these layers, right, you can use another piece of paper and transfer the paper over so you've got layers that way. But I'm trying to create um dots now so i'm going to use um i'm going to go back in and i think i want a little bit of um the color i'm going to use is something like a um ultramarine a french ultramarine which is a slightly different blue um it's got a different base so you get I, it's, it's just wonderful learning about it um so i'm going to take some more off and I'm happy with that. I don't want it to be too much because I can always add it's quite, although you can take watercolor away, it, it changes the surface. The less you can touch watercolor paper, the better with your hands. Um, so there's our background layers. We've got three, four layers on that. You can do as many as you want. And um, I'm going to do one with ink, uh, ink pen, per pencils. And I'm going to do each one of these as we go through this month because the theme is jellyfish. Um, each one of these will have a series of workshops or lessons. So you'll have the lessons, some lessons that are free, and then the Patreon lessons where I really go into depth and I film something. I give you the template and you can go away and create it. Um, so yeah, right now. So just to go back to our incredible drawing, we've got this shape. So my advice is always try and get that shape. Yes, um, that's next, Emma. Don't jump ahead, woman. Yeah, that's that is next, right? Because I've got some beautiful ones on black, which we're gonna do. Um, I knew she'd come up with that. And that Emma, she's better than me at this. Right, so I'm going to look at this. And I really, really do like it. But I need to get... Um, I need to get some shape down. So I'm going to draw it with a pencil very lightly. But you won't see it. So I'm going to go over it with a watercolour pen. So I'm looking... Now, I go online and I look for jellyfish i don't try and trace it behave you could never upset me emma if you did upset me i'd have to tell you oh I, all i'm doing now is i'm going online and i'm looking for one only because oh, i can't spell only because i want to show you that it is okay to use them 
as long as you don't try and copy them without letting anybody know. So I am using an internet picture. Um, I am not tracing it in any way. Although if you ask them, sometimes they're quite cool at letting you do that. So we've got different sorts of jellyfish. We've got lots of different um, like wiggly bits at the bottom. We've got ones that seem to sort of propel themselves like umbrellas. But what they all are are amazing um, animals, absolutely beautiful animals. So I've got one that I think will work really well with us. And as time goes on, I'm going to change it up. So I'm just going to draw it. And then I'm going to do it on this to show you. OK, so because it's hard to see on there and then we can transfer it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that shape. And I'm doing it in one corner. If you do it any corner, you can have it straight up and down. So what I want to do then is we drew a shape like that. Okay. Well, I want to sort of be looking at it. Now, if I drew a line like that, it's like we're looking down at it. Okay. If I draw a line like that, we're looking in it. So I'm going to be drawing that shape so it's a circle and then I just knock off the edge there like that okay and then I've got this wonderful sort of shape coming out so let's go through it on here so on here I'm going to use a blue pen only because you can see it and it's watercolor there is a reason right like that so I'm just going to go We've got to go and I'm doing lots of lines it doesn't matter like that okay so you can see that now and now I can't see what I'm doing on screen so I'll have to make sure I'm on the camera so now what I'm going to do is I like to have the ribbons So I'm going to put two or three of these on, okay? This won't be how it sticks to it. It it will be very different to this. This is just giving you an idea of what I do. And then the lines, I'm just going to leave to themselves. So I'm just going to now switch over so I can see you. Oh, yeah, you can see. Okay, so I've got that now, and I'm quite happy with it. That's just a general line that i've got now i'm using blue because i'm going to be using blue and oranges and reds okay so i'm going to use some blue and i'm going to put my lightest blue on first which is the cerulean so i've not had enough water i'm just going to paint within the lines now i know the lines will also help because the lines will bleed so that will really help me there we go you can see how the, the line from the pen has helped me to get a nice shade on it. Now, I only used a tiny bit of paint. I didn't use anything else. Now, I'm going to use the same paint. I'm going to start with a flat brush and come down. That's all I'm doing. So, I've got a little bit of the cerulean again. Come down, wiggle with the brush and pull. Again, we go and up. Okay, so basically, Rachel! Rachel, Rachel, can I tell everybody? Rachel's in hospital. Rachel's very, very poorly. Uh, uh, I don't want to get upset. She's very poor. I haven't told her. I've told the admin. Told the admin. But I've not told her. So I'm so glad to see you, my love. Right. I'm going to dry this. Right. So I've got...
I'm trying to keep the colour within this mushroomy shape thing. Right, so layer, I'm going to use another layer now and I'm going to put some interesting colours in and I'm going to go with like purples, but the opposite. Alexa, what is the opposite of purple? Right, so we're going to go with yellows and reds and oranges. So... Now, I've got to be careful they don't go green. So each time you use this, right. this is more blue. Right, so that means I can add orange as well. I shouldn't have mentioned that. I'm so sorry, Rachel. It's not my place to do that. I'm so sorry. I just want to know if you're okay, my lovely. Right, I'm using uh, one of my others, which is quinacridones. Quinacridones like orange, beautiful. So I'm just going to put in uh, a drop of colour that way. I'm keeping it mainly to the tendrils because I don't want to over... And now what I'm going to do is just add a bit of water and then dry. Right, I'm just going to take a little bit of that off because it's going green. So what I need to do before it mixes any more, take it off. That's it. Right. Okay, so we're starting to lose that shape now. And I want to bring that shape back in, but it's too wet at the moment. So I'm just going to get one of my smaller pens. Uh, I'm going to use a shaper or a shader, uh, which is an angle brush so I can drag some colours in. So I'm just going to put in some quinacridone again. And I'm blending it now. like that i don't want it to be overpowering i don't want it to be um take over everything i just want it to be really interesting and bright and, and it'll light up in a bit when i put some other stuff on it so just under here dry brush let me explain what's happened i add my brush uh, my brush i had my um foam knits uh, a while back when I was at one of the shows coming home and um, I didn't have a phone so a lovely friend of ours lent me theirs or gave me one of theirs um, and you know when you think oh I'll get one I'll get one I'll get one I never got one so it was an old one so you know it's going to go isn't it it's going to go so it's finally gone. What I'm using now is a darker brown or a grey. So the way we get that colour is, if we, if I want the blue, I use the opposite colour, which is purple, uh, orange. So blue and orange will calm the colour down. So let's go with the blue there. And if I put a bit of orange in, it's going to get a bit too much that. I'm going to go back with the blue. Why is my blue gone? There it is. And I'm going to get a really nice green grey that will it will really help to add a little bit of definition without overpowering. So just going to put a little bit of that in there, let it granulate. Okay, so we've got that. Now 
Right, so now I'm, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to think, right, I need the teal because I need the teal in it. So next to the next to the brown, add not mixing in. I'm adding it next to it because at the moment the colours aren't right for me. I think I think that yellow needs to be orange or blue or one of the others. So I've got cadmium orange which is one of my favorites so add a little bit of cadmium and that, oh yeah that's brightening it up what it is is i used a cool color when i shouldn't have right so so we've got that now it's okay it's not what i want but i've got the basic shapes now this is where i love it love it love it love it so we get the colors that we've got on here so i've got quinacridone I've got um, English red. Um, I've got some, we need some magenta. This is my favorite palette, this, you can tell, can't you? And then I've got some blues, I've got a Prussian and an ultramarine, and then a number. So what I'm going to do is just get, you need to get water on there, and then you need to, the amount of water that you put on now, will really tell on your tendrils so we need plenty of water on it and then just not enough water and then just bounce down so So each time I do it, not adding enough, you see, but I'm being a bit on the, so you can see, so I'm going to put some blues in now, see that one will go. hope you can see it, it's starting to mix and you just there's no hard and fast rules with this you just get it all over your table don't tell anyone and if you've got one that you like to drip put a bit more water on and let that drip down like that so you're actually there's no way you can control this it's brilliant that's why i love it there's there's no I can't say it's going to go there or anywhere, but when, when I do want it to run, if I just put a little bit more water on and I can get adding more water to there. So by the time the runs come down, they're quite light. So put another bit on there. Can you see? Of course you can see what a stupid thing to say so here i've got some violet uh, cobalt i'm gonna add that trying not too much to mix you see there so just adding a little bit of water to that and letting that calm down so i will get a nap it, it's just natural it's gonna mix and I'm going to get some of the quinacridone again. Add in a little bit there. And then I will just... Now, if you've got a brush, a straw, or anything like that, you can actually really go for it with this. So I've got these lovely colours. All right. Got these lovely colours. I'm not a lover of these colours on here, so I'm just going to pick some colours off. I'm going to add more, don't worry. Um, I think we need a range of colours because I've gone oranges plus teals. Yeah, I think that's better. 
Now I'm just going to add pink and oranges together are amazing. Now I'm going to use some of the blues because, well, see, I'm pushing with this brush because I'm able to push. It's a rigger. I'm able to pull and push with it. I'm going to just use the colours that are already here and mixing them together. To create an edge and then here I might need a little bit of a I'm just thinking a little bit more pink or magenta here just to break that up so I'm going to need the crimson well it, this is magenta actually it's really bright i know but i want that so now what i'm going to do is just add that color every color that you've got on your main body and the reason i'm doing the jellyfish is because you, you have to live with the colors that it creates itself oh who said that that's rubbish oh that's a bad one that it's either Blathers or Caroline. It's got to be. Right, just going to try it. So if you've got a straw or anything like that, you can push it down and let it sort of fall down the table a bit more. Oh, come back later. It's all done later. So, just adding the colour here. Now, this is very, very basic. Very, very. By God, this is very basic and very simple. Ah, I knew it'd be you. Um, loving your stuff, yeah, absolutely loving it. So, if you've got something, now I don't bother doing this, but some people clean their computer, keyboard. Now, oh, look at this, get it everywhere. It's dipped in my paint. Silly woman. Oh. Right, okay. This is an old IKEA table, and we've had it 20 odd years now. And it folds out. It's brilliant. Um, but I'm going to, if I want to, I think I'll paint it. So, We've got all these areas of high colour, really high colour. And we're like, well, what do we do now? Well, we can add all sorts. It's still the belly of this paper still wet. So and we'll have time for me to show you another quick one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So here, we can start to use um, colours and, and pens and keep your paints, though, you know, because we can go to town with them. And um, I know my riggers have cost me quite a lot of money, but they're so worth it. They're just so, so worth it. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my black pen and I'm just going to put. Oh. Don't think it'll work here. A line across here. And this isn't this is just a, a paper mate ink joy. I got this from um that. Oh, what's it called? There's loads of them. Um they sell toiletries and everything. 
Home bargains. I got this from Home Bargains in a box. They're nice. They really, I, I really do like them. But this one's running out now. But I do love, I love to use them because they've got ink in there. Get some right bargains in there, you know. So all I'm doing is just bringing that colour out a little bit. I've got another one here which is permanent. So I'm just going to add, not across the tendrils, just where it's visible there. Ah, that, that, that's working. The other one's run out. So I've got that basic. So, collector, level one, please. Right, I'm just going to bring in that shape. And I'm not worrying about whether the blue, it's followed the blue at all, not at all. Now, if you want it in front, cool. But remember, it'll cross over these lines. And if it's behind it, remember, you only need to do the lines that are visible. Otherwise, you could do a bit too much. And you could put another one in if you want, you know, add colour to it later. Like that. So we've got some more detail coming on. Very easy to do. Very, very easy. So now what I'm going to do is just choose um, a pencil and a black pen. Okay. So, oh, going back to my phone. So, yeah, I've got a phone now, but I've got to wait till the, the old man gets in because it he has to set it up. I'm pretty certain I could do it, but it doesn't always work like that, does it? Sometimes let's give letting him have a job. No, I'd probably get it. I can blame him then if it goes wrong. I'm just adding a little bit of shading with a, a black pencil to that. Nothing special. Um, just to bring out the the paper texture. Um, can you see it? You can bring it a bit nearer. Can you see it? Paper texture just hidden behind it. And then this one, but not a lot of texture. Um, or oh, pressure, sorry. Because I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want it to be there. I just want it to be there. Right, okay. So next. I'm going to just bring in my white pen and where it's wet it won't do it but only on one side I'm just going to draw So I'm just putting some white pen on it and I'm using it on one side only. So I'm just creating on the left hand side a light area for it. People say to me, why do you do all these layers if you can't see them or you're covering them up? And the, and the answer to that is the other colours wouldn't react the same way without those layers on them. So you need the layers underneath. So we've got that. And when we can't see it, hence the white, we tend, I tend to go with the opposite, so I will get, I don't know if that might be a little bit too big. I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to chop that bit off. So now what I'm going to do is just pull in the opposite side.
and I'm going to stagger the lines. What I don't want is a heavy, you know, oh, you bum. It's all over now. Oh. I didn't mean to go on with it. Sometimes I find if you're doing work like this, turning it round really helps me because I'm not putting, I'm not trying to make it look like anything then. I really like that. Right, so we've got that bright jellyfish happening and we need to sort of think about some of the things that we can do. Now, for a start, I am using a one mil, is it? A tw yeah, a one mil Posca pen. Um, and over my gel pen or my oil pen I'm just going to do some dots um, this Posca pen will go over the oil base pen and pencil so but if you're using any other it really doesn't matter Now, this is the bit that really helps to just slow you down. Um, like, just take your time. There's no perfection with this. Perfection is imperfection. Add where you want to, take away where you want to. It's yours at the end of the day. The only thing that you, you, you let the paint do, the paint will paint it for you, you know, if you let it. And letting go can be some of the hardest things that you, you have to do with it, well, the colours, because you've, you've got less control than any other thing with watercolours. They, they tend to control you. So here I'm just adding some depth in the back um, of behind these just to create like shadows for that so I don't think well you know I'm a great advocate of pointillism but I don't think we um, use we never used to use it as much as we should it's just so good for adding shape without being frightened of shading it really is you know and once you get a bit more confident with pointillism then you you become more confident with your shading your drawing and it's just practice it really is practice we're not you know as i say we're not born running these are skills that we have to sort of build upon and it's same with drawing music everything very few people are gifted with it so what i'm going to do now is just pick one side And I'm just going to do some closer dots. So the closer the dots, the darker it looks, okay? So I had a whale of a time doing the owl 3D. Because that that's what I love doing. I love work, working out templates and I love working out how it will look if I do this, this and this. I just loved it. And then I had to do several to work it all out. I, that's just me. I loved it. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, it's on my Patreon. But, um, yeah, it was fascinating getting back to my teacher days where I'd have to do a project and plan it from beginning to end. So the next few months on Patreon, we're going to be hopefully looking at sea life. Um, I, I will get other things done as well. But, yeah, it, it's just a way of consolidating 
um, your uh, project so that I know you're going to get everything possible through these projects. So 2D, 3D, montage, collage, everything. There's nothing um, that we won't hit on. We might not stay in and do lots on it, but we will be doing a lot of work um, as regarding as I would do it in school. And I don't mean like you're all students. Like, I mean, it's available to any age, but this is the way I was able to sort of strengthen my own skills. Um, and then I sort of tweaked it so that I knew maybe other people like myself would be able to achieve it using sim similar skills and techniques and what do you want to call it? And so now she fathers. So you can see now I'm getting that little bit of depth in it now, which is adding that bit of pop. Um, so I'm just going to add some more down here. Again, choose a side. I'm going to choose this side. So that it creates more depth. So I've got those fatter ribbons coming through it. And just on the edge there, I'm just going to put some on the inside. Not too many. We go. Can you just see it's defining the outer edge? There we go. So we've got this build up now, depth. Yeah, that's it, Emma. You know. I weren't too keen on mine either, but well, I hated school. But now, you know, I wanted to go back and learn because I was able to do it. It was something that was all right at. But that was only a teacher that taught me that. All of my my uh, saviour. I think I'd have gone down a very different path if I hadn't found her. So I've just left this like this because I quite like that and I want it to dry and I want to give it a little bit time to settle. So I'm, I'm going to do the same up here, but I'm going to create um, areas. So I'm just going to get me, I'm just going to get my pen working for a start. Get me, get me Emma going. You see the difference in my hand there? Is that, I know you can. You see the size of it? Can you see the difference in it? I can. That's the side that's bad. Right, I'm just going to choose. Just going to choose areas. like that so i've got this and i've got a posca white as well just to show you the difference careful when you're shaking these oh like that okay I'm just going to wipe them off because I know what will happen. I'll put my hand in them. So I'm using my Posca fine pen nib and I'm just going to go. So I'm going to run round. And bring in some very fine pattern. Just 
not a lot. So just bring in some white pattern and then So all I'm doing is I'm highlighting some of the lights. Um, so I'm using some dots for these. Excuse me. You get the most sort of definition when it's dark with light on it. So I'm just adding. I'm trying not to sort of create patterns, if that makes sense. Because you start adding pattern, right? That's better. You, you're isolating it in an area, and just just bring in. And I'm going to work another layer on top. So hence the name layers and layers. It's all about layer upon layer upon layer of really simple artwork, really simple artwork, but most effectively done because of the contrast. Incredibly easy. I don't do anything that's hard as you know but from this you can go on like Jenny um, and our Emma and our Jenny they and our Rachel they go on and do other things with it and that's that's what I want I want you to start with me and then go off and do your own thing yeah the Yeah, these, these Jenna are the miles better for me. They are the, let me get it right, the PC1MR pin type. Oh, you can't see it. Pin type. And it's a point not seven. Um, and it's a metal pin. And this, I'll show you the black one which is a fibre pin, and I'll show you this one next to it. One's metal. Still light. You see? But you get a bigger blob. So I've got some depth of colour because they sort of pulse. And um, if you ever see them, they're just like mesmerising as they stream along. Um, I almost want them to look transparent so you can see them underneath. They are great, Jenny. I know the SAA do a full set of whites going from the fat all the way down. But I can go now from this to my fatter unit. I can't say that word anymore. Bigger, whatever. 
and I get a different size, which is finer, which goes in between. And then I can go to my narrow. And that is even finer. Mm, I don't think I've got a narrow. A narrow looks like that. Okay, so what we've got here now, just to give it a little bit of something. Now, years ago, I did some nice pens. They work brilliantly with it. These sparkle ones work brilliantly. So I've got that. I really like that. I want something in the background. It looks a bit too boring for me at the moment. So I'm going to create um, a bit of, of, of an illusion with these. There we go. So we've got that gold, which is a shimmery one. I've got a greeny one and a bluey one and a gold here. So on the yellow, I'm just going to add the yellow. Okay, so... I don't have any hard and fast rules about adding glitter. You can add whatever you blooming want. I've got that one. So I'm going to go in now with a bit of silver. Some of these are well used, well loved and run out. But, and I don't know when they run out. You know what I mean? You look at them and they look fine. And then you use them, you're like, I'm gone. No, in that. Right, now, this is where I start to change up the pattern a little bit. So I've got a very fine one. I've got my Jelly Roll 08, but you can use Jelly Roll um, any anyone you want. As long as it's fine, I feel. Start using thicker ones. Yeah, you, I, I get in a bit of a pickle. So I'm going to use these. Now test them out and see if you like what they're going to be doing. But... Now on the dark, like crustaceans. So I'm going to go for the other dark. I was very lucky to get these the other day from um, the supplier because I've run out of books. I, want, I bought, you know, I wanted to buy them, but you give me these sets, and I really do like them. I really love them. I used to do talons years ago. I think it was about six years ago, um, and yeah. So what I'm going to do, just round the edge, just to give it a little bit. I hope this isn't horrible to look at. And I hope people are enjoying what it looks like, you know, because it this might not be for everybody, but the ideas are for everybody, but the fashion and whatever might not pique your interest. But the process is so I'm going all the way around with that just to give it that bit of a oh thank you thank you very much for that
So I'll just, oh, sorry, just add a little few more. I'm not a lover of a, a generally a bump straight line, so I like the idea of it being a bit wiggly. There we go. So next to that, I have to put the dark off because if I don't, then I won't see the white. So if I sort of do a frill like that, can you see it's bringing it out a bit? So I might want to do... Get me now, it's sort of getting rid of the straightness. So I've introduced dark there, but I need to introduce it somewhere else. So don't worry, we'll just put. Right, so here. Spine ones, not a lot, because otherwise it'll just overpower it. I mean, you can put them in the middle of the others if you wish. Like that, you know, bit of stab. And if you've got a lot in one place that might need to be broken, broken up, you can add. So, so far, let's have a look at the lessons. We've learned to do the watercolour, the drip, the background. We've added all sorts of different colours in layers, not mixing, but layering. Big, big difference. We're uh, looking at applying layers upon layers of pens and pencils and what you might call it. So you've got absolute... Um, Imagination, go for it. Right, next bit is I think I should use the little ones for this because otherwise I'll be all day picking colours. She says, she says, she says. So anyway, I've got a big set and a little set. So I'm gonna get my Faber Castell out. I'm gonna move some of these over there. And um this is absolutely for me like amazing just being able to sit here and and do what i love doing and that's messing so I'm just going to move my artwork uh, my stuff over there i've got a dark red here i love this dark red so i'm going to pick out now that's a bit too brown so what i am going to do is just pick out some of the colors i've got in my jellyfish and bring them now i've got a really deep that's the one. So I'm just going to add some parts. Like that. Just over the top. Alexa, stop. Do me head in. So here I've got some white. I'm going over the white. And if you have got areas that you know need a bit of TLC, my advice is use your pencils because they do cover a multitude of sins. Now I'm going in with orange. And I might just go orange over the white. That's better. See, I'm taming it all down. And then here, I've got like a teal blue. So I'm going to go in with a teal over the blue. Now the white, 
it started to look teal. So, so everywhere that now has the white on it is beginning to get layers of other colours so the white's not as in your face and bright. However, the colour I put on top of this oh, does make a difference. So if I just show you the yellow here on the white, can you see it's brightening it? So I hope this is giving you, you know, layers. I mean, I'm going to go further and further as each day goes, but you've got your layers. Um, these, when we first started, weren't as bright. The Vicar, I am sure it is brilliant. Thing is, though, we weren't, you know, these things do sometimes take a little bit of time, but, you know, don't, don't think if you haven't got it right this time, that it's wrong because it isn't it isn't it's not wrong it's just not finished if you don't like it it's because it's not finished that's all all i'm going to do is using a dark blue i'm just going to knock the i can add some watercolor on this if i wish now or just add a little bit of indigo just at the back and with it being an, it's not a rough, but it's not, it's not um, a smooth either. It's a, a medium. It's a Fabriano. So those of you that see me on telly will know what it is. And I'm just picking up the texture. And I'll pull you back a little bit because it's going to be happy to see. So you can see I'm just. That shape now is coming down. Now I'm really going lightly here because what I don't want is to have a dark streak. I want it to be visible, but I just want it to be created like a shadow. So turn your pencil side on very lightly. Hold it right at the very end and lightly. And then smooth over with your fingers. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you can, but I'll do this one then. Very lightly. Hope you can see that now. It just gives it a nice burnished look. Just a little bit darker there. And as I'm going into the back there I'm just creating a little bit darker but i'm not going to go right to edge there because it might ruin it there we go can you just say i'm picking up the i'm not using black can if you want i choose not to you can just see the depth now right okay so got that got that i'm just going to add white and cream to the edge yep Now that looks naff like that, I understand it really does, but I want it to because I want the colours to be pop. I'm going to use a grey here now. I'm using, is it warm or? Uh, cold grey, yeah. I'm using a cold grey. Not a lot. So a little bit more around the edge, lightly, a little bit more there, bring out, and then 
just bring out the edge there. You can add whatever you want. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, next week, we're going to be adding layers to this. So um, layers of uh, media and mediums. Right. I'm, I'm happy with that, but it's not finished. So just going to put my pencils back. And we will be looking at adding more pencils next time, but we'll be looking at adding 50-50 um, and shading with both. So you'll get a much different effect to that. Just going to go back in now with this. And believe it or not, this will make it all pop, believe it or not. Now, you have to be careful because sometimes it doesn't like the pencil so be warned oh it's okay so the white really is white like that It's not the uh, pencil cranes have not backed the other whites to create like a shaded pointillism, which you know it's hard to do that with pencils because you know it's hard to register the color when you but it isn't with pens, but it's hard to register the color when you're uh, using pencil cranes because you, you're like that, you're more often breaking the nib. I'm just going to go in with some bigger ones just by dotting it. And then let's see how we go on with. Just add in a little bit there. So I really like that now. I'm just going to add some little rails. So well, the veils are like little tendrily bits that you're not too sure whether they, they're coming from the inside or out. Right, the next thing, just a little bit. You only need a, a grey pencil. Um, and what we're going to do is, I've not done this before, so we'll let's see. Just trying to create the illusion of just see it's hard to see, but you can just sort of see them. See it? It's like a transparency. Right, okay. So look at the layers we've done. We've done a background, we've done all that, and we've done it's done an hour and twenty, which is hardly anything in it. What I do want to do is just put my little bubbles on, which are they're not anything you should do, but I just like to put little bead shapes on them. So that one, for instance, I've just added some little lines like that. No. I'm just going to add a 
I'm just adding some very fine ones in between and I'm going to let them cross and like that next see which pen will run I'm just running these halfway down. And you can just pat them in. So I'm just running the and we can just add some little patterns to any big elements. Right, okay, <clears throat> I'll bring it up to show you. Mm -hmm. Our time stupid. I always get confused. Just a little bit of white now and again. And I want a glaze look. So the last thing I'm going to do is I've got these, I've brought these to Creating Craft when it was, um, oh, many times, many years ago. And I've got them in. These, I absolutely love these. If anybody's interested in these, then please just let me know and I'll write you out a little list. So I'm going to get the orange. See another layer. Oh, well, don't worry, we'll go through it in the end. Right, okay, so we've got an orange. Then I'm going to go with the red, which is a pink. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the bluey green and green and blue. Okay, so I've got purple as well. Um, Now, the goal. I'm just brushing on discriminately all over, rubbing in, and I'll bring it up and show you. Look like a glaze. Right, I love that. I don't like the background. Really don't. So this is where I go back to my pens, uh, pens pencils. No, not even then. I right, go back to my paints and I look at the colours that perhaps I need and just, oh, I don't like that one for a start. Pick the wrong colour. Right, so what you can do. Is just, you know, cover up what you want. I'm using a dark purple all over my table, but who cares? Right, 
Who cares? And because I'm using a very fine paintbrush, I'm getting a fine splatter. And you get a build up of splatter, and it, it's just phenomenal. I can't say it. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So I'm using pink now to build up with lilacs and cobalt um i think it's cobalt purple i think and i'm gonna obviously have to clean and scrub the table so i'm just using it because the background just had no appeal to me whatsoever. It just didn't do anything. And I just thought, no, I don't like it at all. So now I'm going to go on. Bring it all out. All yellow. Actually, yellow. We'll go with yellow. And I'm going to go with which yellow. I'll use this. Um, yeah, that's the one. Um, cadmium. We need some blobs here because I've got a blob. I can get rid of the blob. The cadmium yellows are strong. Right, ready? Oh, yes. Much better. Now, I'm just going to lift. I'm going to put some more in and I'm just going to think I'll put some of the yellow. So, yes. oh, I'll have to go in with the teal here and then just add the teal around the edge. And I've thoroughly enjoyed this. And obviously, if I use a fatter, I can't say that word, um, a thicker paintbrush, I get a thicker blob. And if you're wondering what's in the bottom of my paints, it's magnets. I'll put magnets on it for me. So I can put them in my um, box and they don't drop out. That's the one. And then it's not, this isn't, it's Payne's Grey, which gives you another. So we've got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. What I'll do then is I will, for my Patreons, I will photograph this um, and I will send it to you via the Patreon. Um, the video's free, obviously, but the other stuff won't be, obviously, um, people who know Patreon. Um, but yeah, well, so next week we'll do another version of this. Um, I'm thoroughly loving it. I, I adore stuff like this because I have a rough idea of what it what I want it to look like. Um, what it looks like, that's very different. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, if you want to start using some of your high glow pens on this, they're fantastic for this. You know, like your jelly rolls, absolutely amazing for it because you're only using a little bit. So, um, Hope you've enjoyed that. I have. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to do a little bit of a recap. So we've done layers in the background. We've used layers of water to create more depth in colour. We've used layers of paint, dried, and then we've used them mixed, and we've sort of let them go where we want. And then we've used white pen on colour, and then we've added pencil on the top, a layer of pencil, a layer of colour, a layer of pencil, then a layer of dots. And you can see that each time you add another layer, you've got to, you've got to be careful. It's like now, I'm just going to get this shader. And I just think if I add water here, oh, not there. You see what I mean? You've got to be careful. Um, I think that will help me, just to show you what I mean. Just the colour 
around it like that do you get me so the color that's actually blobbed see that's black so i need to get rid of that get me it's just give it more shading i think so you can do it by spraying it if you wish like that so that's better just be thoughtful of where the black is but yeah that's better so i'm adding the color out and just letting it I'm mixing the colour on to do the wiggly lines. I absolutely love that. Um, yes, so thank you very much to everybody. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed that. I am going to do the next step now. I might glaze that with um, glossy accents because I think it would look brilliant if I then cracked it. So that's going to be probably an extra bit for next week. Oh, my Patreons, actually. Well, I'll, I'll crack that up and glaze it and crackle it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. Um, you can find me this time next week. I will be here um, doing this. And then hopefully by the end of each month, we'll have a little, you know, it will be a series of workshops that lead up to a, a final project for my Patreons. And if you'd like to join... Go to lewwithers.com and um, my Patreon page is there. So there's three levels and it's the third level that will get you this. So thank you so much. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I can't wait to get my phone up and running so I can take some proper sort of influential, no, inf no, inspiring pictures. But I hope that really helped you about layers. You know, the fact that we got a nice picture, but the fact is we, it was based on layers. So hope that hit home. Um, I want to go and do some little tiny ones now and just see what they look out like on black and grey papers and brown papers and just play around with two or three colours, no more. So thank you, as always, for your time and your patience and most of all, your support and love. I do appreciate it. And we want our, our Rachel to get better. Okay, so big love. See you next week and uh, bye. Where's my button? There's my button. <laughs>